To get started, you can plug the probe into the back of the unit. Just keep the cord facing up and slide it into the probe connector and turn the knob clockwise to secure it. The power button is here at the back. And to turn the unit on, there's a button on the front. Now that the unit's loaded up, let's have a look at the various knobs and buttons on the keyboard. Looking at the keypad, the main knobs we're going to need to know are the depth, which is here, the focus, our gain in V mode, time gain compensation, our ID for entering a new patient. We also have frequency, the various imaging modes such as M mode, uh, split screen and uh, four screens. Here we also have our trackball, measurement, distance. This lets us select our probe and also lets us set the probe presets. Most of the other buttons that we have are used for color Doppler or pulse wave where that's enabled on the machine. We also have the focus button down the bottom here. So let's go through the process of optimizing an image with our linear probe. And the first thing that we'll have a quick look at is the patella tendon. So we'll just put some gel on the probe. And at the moment the image is frozen, so we'll take it off freeze so we can see what's going on. The first thing that I'm going to do is hit ID so I can save these images to a patient file. And we're going to enter a new patient. And I'm just going to put first name in only, although you can put a whole bunch of other information if you'd like to. Now the patient ID or name will come up at the top of the screen along with the date and the time of the examination. This is really useful for our record keeping. The next thing I'm going to do is hit probe, which will give me an option to choose a preset. So I can go through the different uh, available imaging presets and let's try orthopedics. Okay, now I'm going to put the probe on the knee and we're going to get a look at, a, a very quick look at the patella tendon. So here we can see the patella tendon, it's looking a little bit dark, so we'll adjust that in a moment. We can see the patella here and this is the tibial end. So we're looking from the left to right, superficial or proximal to distal. Next thing I'm going to adjust is the depth, so I can come right in make that image as large as possible on the screen so it's nice and easy to see and then we'll bring our focus arrows up as well so we get in a little bit more brightness the next thing I might do is just adjust the time gain compensation so I've got a little bit more brightness in the area of interest Here you can see the gain and the frequency and we're just going to have a look at increasing the frequency to see if we can get a slightly better look at the image. So frequency button down here, we hit frequency and it takes us to 12 which is our highest. And the other thing I think I might do to adjust it is increase our gain. So I'm just going to image up and down that tendon to get a bit of a look at where everything is. Other things we could potentially change is our number of focus arrows by hitting the focus button down here if we want more than one. In this case I think that one or two should be enough. We'll go with two
Now if we wanted to measure something, let's say the thickness of the tendon, we'll hit our measurement, we'll go to distance, and we're going to get our little marker on the screen here. I'm going to measure just from inside. We hit enter, slide down to the lowest portion of the tendon, and we hit enter again. That's going to give us our distance down here. So if we do want to save an image, all we have to do is hit save here, and we're going to get our thumbnail down the bottom of the image right there. We can also hit the cine button which will play us back a certain amount of frames that the unit saved. And we can also save that cinema file so we can go back and have a look at that later. I'm going to hit escape.